Welcome to the Collabware Academy tutorial for CollabMail, the simple connector that helps you save to, retrieve from, or search SharePoint content without leaving Outlook. In this short video, you will learn about CollabMail in general, how to navigate, uploading emails, applying metadata or additional information, uploading attachments, searching, sending document links, and setting favorites. So, what is CollabMail? CollabMail is a productivity tool that bridges the gap between SharePoint and Outlook. After installation, CollabMail will be available whenever you open Outlook. You will never again have to leave Outlook, minimize screens, save documents locally, or toggle between programs to save or retrieve documents. With simple drag-and-drop actions, you can easily upload emails into SharePoint. It also works in reverse if you would like to include a link or attach a SharePoint document to an email. You can search and view documents already in SharePoint with the integrated Outlook window pane and save time navigating by bookmarking your favorite library locations. The purpose of CollabMail is to help you put important emails and attachments into SharePoint. Only content of business value should be put into SharePoint. Business records including client deliverables, contracts, plans, decisions or approvals, and budgets. This should be a small subset of your emails. In most situations, you will be making the decision of promoting something that is work in progress to a business record. Once you have made this decision, you should put the business record in the appropriate library of your SharePoint environment. Okay, let's start with navigation. Once you have identified an email or attachment to put into SharePoint, choose the appropriate location to place it. Navigate your SharePoint site and simply double-click on the location to find and open the relevant SharePoint library. All your previously filed items will also be visible in the library. For first-time use, you can type in or copy and paste your SharePoint library URL into the CollabMail location bar. Here, we'll learn about uploading emails. When it's time to upload an email to SharePoint, simply select your email and drag it into the SharePoint library. Once you drop it into the location, CollabMail will upload it to SharePoint. CollabMail will present you with an information panel called a metadata panel, where you can see the information tagged to the document. Fill in the required information and click Save. In most cases, you can simply close the information panel and you are done. Let's go through how to upload attachments. In some cases, the business record won't be the email, but rather the email's attachment. With CollabMail, putting attachments into SharePoint is just as easy. Select the attachment and drag it into the open SharePoint library. CollabMail will upload it to the records repository and present the information panel. Simply update and save or close the information panel. Attachments work just like the emails. Next, we learn about uploading emails with attachments. CollabMail allows you to upload emails and attachments as a single item, preserving the context of the business record. To view attached content, simply double-click the item in CollabMail. And for quicker access, any email or document can be opened from CollabMail. Let's now learn about searching. To find documents in a SharePoint library, use the location bar on the top. This is also a search box. Type in a keyword, phrase, or file name and click Enter. SharePoint Search will return any relevant results from your site or library. You can also right-click to open any search result document. Some may choose this method as the quickest way to find and open documents you want to work on throughout the day. CollabMail isn't just an email tool. It creates a one-stop shop to find and open documents so you don't have to switch between programs. Sending links with CollabMail made easy. In order to cut down on unnecessary copies, CollabMail allows you to share a link to an item rather than sending an attachment. Right-click on the item you want to share, then click Copy URL. The link can then be pasted into an email. The recipient must be authorized to view records from your SharePoint library. Sending a link instead of a copy is a best practice for internal collaboration on shared documents. 
So what about adding a new favorite? To set up favorites, copy the URL of the SharePoint site into the Collab Mail location box. Navigate to the desired location, site, library, or folder, then click the star button. Once you add the location, it will always be available in your main favorites list. You should now be ready to use Collab Mail and take advantage of its easy to use drag and drop system and work quicker between Outlook and SharePoint. Thanks for watching the Collab Mail tutorial. For more information, visit collabware.com.